Hey, Eddie from the Back Cave here. How's everybody doing this week? I want to show you my pools. Um, I hope everybody's preparing for the big snowstorm heading our way. If you need to get out, please make sure you get your bread, your milk, your eggs, cereal, ice cream, all the snacks you can eat if you get snowed in. So that way you can read your comic books and don't have to worry about going out there unless you got a shovel. Yeah, that sucks. But other than that, stay safe. But first off, I want to give a shout out to Brian Rourke from ESPN. Brian, thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any ideas, Brian, uh, get in touch with me. Give me a holler. Let me know. All right, going forward. Zorro, Timeless Tales from number one from American Mythology Production. Kind of like that. You guys know I like my Zorro. All right. I got also number two. It came out the same day. Um, like this cover. It, it kind of reminds me of the Dell comic book series that came out. There we go. And the artwork, I don't think it's bad at all. I'm going to check it out. Kind of reminds me of Dell. And I don't know if this is a reprint or not. If it is, if you guys know what it is, please let me know. I'm curious about that. There you go. That's happy with that. Okay, from Marvel Comics, The Immortal Hulk, number 41. I think it's an Alex Ross cover. Look at that. Pretty sweet, huh? Love this cover. And look at her. Look like she's mad at the Hulk's going to give him a talking to. And Ben looked like he's afraid. Like, uh oh See that? Can't wait to read this. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, number two, from Marvel Comics. Um, I enjoyed the story last month. They had like short little mini stories in this book, in this series. Mom and Dad, if your kid wants it and he's too young, don't let him buy it. It's kind of violent. And it also says parental advisory. Okay, just to give you that warning. So make sure you're buying this for the right age. But I can't wait to read this one because I enjoyed last month's. Captain America, number 27, Alex Ross cover. There we go. Guess who's here? I read this before I came out. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Especially in the last couple pages. There we go. Also from Marvel, Symbiote Spider-Man number two. There we go. Fantastic Four number 27 with a Mark Brooks cover on it. I like Mark Brooks. He's pretty cool. There we go. From DC Comics, Batman 105. I read this before I came on. It was okay. Um, I felt like the story was rushed towards the end. It, like they had a momentum going. Then like the last two, three pages, it was like, ah. But that's my opinion. Okay. But pick up the variant cover. Okay. Because the variant cover was sweet. But I missed out on the variant cover because I was like 10 minutes late from the store. He had no more. They had like Batman in the front and the Ghostmaker in the back. Really nice. Now I'm going to have to track it down. Superman number 28. The storyline continues with Seminar or Simar. And go, this has been this last run. All right. That's it for comics. So, big news last week. Kang's going to be the main villain for Ant-Man and the Wasp. And people are complaining that he's too much of a villain for those two guys. But, got to have faith in the Marvel production because they've been doing well so far. For those of you who don't know Kang, I'm going to look into my Marvel encyclopedia. His name is Nathaniel Richards. A descendant from Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. There we go. You can see that there. He's a big time traveler. He gained his powers and wealth through time traveling. And he's always wanting more to conquer. So that's why he's called Kang the Conqueror. Uh, his costume it, it gives him enhanced strength. He also liked Doctor Doom's armor. So he kind of like modified it to be like that. So can't wait to see him. If there any more information you want to read about Kang, find it online on Marvel's website if you want. Or you can buy this Marvel Encyclopedia book and it tells you a little more. Stuff like that. So, for Seth Taylor, he says, if I'm going to talk about a topic, I could bring up a, a classic cover to go with it. Well, here you go, Seth. Avengers number 23, the picture of Kang. Uh, Kang first appeared in Avengers 8, which I do not have, but I do have number 23. All right. Seth, I hope you like that. Um, that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Anything you want to talk about, give me a holler. You let me know. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya, and stay safe.